Uh, good afternoon, folks. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to print in color. Uh, you know, how to print the Arduino code and still retain the color. Somehow, the ability to print in color was kind of lost in one of these revisions of the Arduino. I believe that uh, it was as uh, version 1 was still printing in color, uh, but somehow it was kind of lost. So I'm running 1.8.13, and there's some time I want to see this in color instead of really black and white. Uh, so how can I do that? Because I cannot do it right now. Like, for example, if I do print like this, and I choose, like, for example, uh, my PDF uh, printer, and I said OK, and uh, I'm gonna let's say that I put a name here. Uh, let's say that this is I'm gonna delete it anyway. This is a PDF, but it's gonna be black. And I know, I know that it's true. It's gonna be black and white, so it's it's not good, right? Anyway, so let's save it. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to look for it. And you're going to take a look how oh, uh, it's yet. Let me refresh this. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. Here we go. That's the file. Open them up. This is what I, what I have. Extremely ugly. Uh, nothing that I can really will do with it the way it looks looks right now it's very really messed up i don't like it so uh what can we do to print in color going back to the same question so what i do is the following uh let's delete this actually let's delete this i don't want to have any junk so and this is what we we're gonna do so i have i want to print this code with re and retain the color that's what i want so what you have to have is you need to go for a second to here uh download notepad plus plus all right this is not like the regular notepad this is a different one uh so you're gonna go you're gonna you you're gonna need this one and i downloaded this one so you just hit double click on it and uh download here since i already have it i'm gonna cancel this I just it's very small in fact I think it already went through but anyway it's very small but it's kind of nice so how it works let me show you very quickly how it looks like right here and here's the notepad code it's just looks like a regular notepad and uh, all these are the fixes that they have done through it through it so just hit a new and that's it so you have now a, a new uh, notepad ready to to be used so we're going to go to uh the arduino code that you want to print in color so you go to edit you select all the code and now this is the the important part copy as a hypertext marker language copy it now you go to your notepad see uh plus plus and you paste it and you are almost done so as you can see it is in hypertext marker language the way it is but it's not yet in color this is kind of interesting it's not yet in color so now let's save it file save us and here is the nice part of it so you want to save it in somewhere you where you can quickly find it so let me go back to where I typically save these kind of files. So I'm gonna give a name there. Uh, it could be any name. Uh, let's see. Uh, print in color. And now here, change uh, the, from this, from text, you wanna change this to hypertext markup language. If I can find it, it's huge here. Let's see where it is. Hypertext. Right here. And now 
hit save and now you see how it changed the file now you have nice color <laughs> now but obviously you will say hey but where is the the nice printing that we want hold your horses you will see that in a second so I'm only showing you that now you have the file right there uh, and what we need to do is go to your browser any browser will do uh, let's open a new page here in your browser and uh, and let's hit in my browser I'm using Chrome let's hit like for example uh, control open I'm hitting control uh, letter O and now I have my file here print in color so I'm gonna open that file I'm looking for that file and uh, when I open here we go I have nice color on my Chrome um, browser and uh, it's right there that's where my code is located in color so what I'm gonna do now is send it to print as a regular print now choose your printer I'm gonna choose my cute PDF uh, printer and you can see here it's, it's kind of nice uh, you can select other stuff that you want to and, and so forth uh, you can change the header, footers, whatever you want but the idea is only to show you how to print in color, that's it so I'm gonna print this now it's gonna ask me where I'm gonna save it, that's perfect print in color, sounds good to me save and now if I go back here and it's right here. Uh, actually, not. Uh, let's see that. Re need to refresh that. There we go. Now it's right here. So I hit it in color. And there we go. Now I have a nice PDF uh, the way I want to see it in color. All right. It's kind of a, I will say, it's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. But it's, it's a little bit of a pain in the neck to do this, but I only I will do only this when it's required that I print in color, uh, just to so I so things like this will stand out, you know, from the rest, and it's kind of it makes life easier to follow what's going on within the code. Again, I'm not using this as an everyday t type of substitution from printing in color, but at least get me get the job done without too much fuss. All right. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.